Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be doing a speed paint for the Side Order DLC, which is from Splatoon 3. And I have recently been playing along and going through all of the levels, and I just wanted to take some time and talk about it. Uh, the My Little Pony speed paint series will be back very soon, but I just wanted to shift for this week. So if you're not sure what Splatoon 3 is or Side Order, it is a multiplayer game where you can like interact with other players, have little ink colors, and you know, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I suggest watching a few gameplays on it. Also, this video will contain mild spoilers for the game because I've completed it several times at this point. But specifically in the Side Order DLC, you go up this tower that has 30 floors or levels, and using the different combinations of sub and special weapons, you are able to complete the tower, do boss fights, you know, regular video game stuff. And of recently, I've been playing it, and I've basically beaten with beaten it with all the weapons except for Splatana Stamper and Charger, and I'll probably end up playing those in very, very shortly. But I just wanted to make a little fan art for it because I did really enjoy the story. It's very simple, in my opinion. The story doesn't have a ton to it, but I still think it reflects really well on the Splatoon series, and in general, I'm very happy with the game. I think the visuals and the overall aesthetic is really, really pretty and nice, and I just wanted to make some fan art for it. So here I am drawing my Agent 8 in the standard uniform, and just going ahead and doing base colors and stuff. I decided for this art piece I would do it lineless, because a lot of the Splatoon art that comes like officially from Nintendo has a lot of lineless stuff. They usually use uh, textured brushes, so I wanted to sort of emulate that. I'm using Procreate and my iPad mini here, and the brush I am using is the 6B pencil, if I'm not mistaken. And I kind of just wanted Agent 8 sort of floating around in some sort of deep space or in the tower of side order and just, you know, sort of grabbing the paint chips, which I think the paint chips are a wonderful addition to side order. In fact, they are my favorite part because you can really customize what you want in your run. So like I have done certain runs where I do run speed only or power up or special weapons. And I think it's a really fun detail. So far, my best and favorite runs have been with the Splatling and Splat Roller. Those were super fun to do. Um, I did like doing um, the Splatter Shot. That was the first run that I fully completed without like stopping or anything. And it went pretty well. It's, you know, a really good introduction. And then I did Dooley's, Tri Stringer, Bucket, and Brush. And Brush so far, I did not like Brush for my Brush run through, but all the other weapons I did quite enjoy a lot. And yeah, it was a pretty great run. I really enjoyed it. I added a few of the gelatins at the bottom, just to sort of hint at what Agent 8 has to go through in terms of the obstacles. And then I also added the paint chips that you can see up in the top. So yeah, it was a really fun time drawing this. Side Order has been fantastic to play through. I definitely recommend it if you would like a nice video to watch. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye